morning y'all and welcome back to the kitchen. I'm going to be busy today. I've got several canning sessions to do and um, I'm going to film I'm going to film each one of them separately and you'll see them separately. But today I'm going to be making apple pie filling. HEB had a three pound bag of apples for 67 cents. That's a deal. So I bought a bunch of apples and I've already got a huge amount of them done. But I'm going to bring you over here to the butcher block and show you what I'm doing and the nifty little gadgets I'm using. Okay, the first thing I've been doing, of course, is peeling them. I used my corer, and this is a pampered shelf thing. And sometimes it wants to go in crooked. There's the hole, and here's the core. Now, for peeling it, I'm using my nifty little peeler that I've told y'all about and I'm just getting all the peelings off and then I'm going to slice them and I don't have a definite width of the slices you want them to all kind of be uniform and show you what I'm going to do I just cut them in half and then I just cut my slices okay I've got a cup of um, clear gel which is a modified cornstarch that you can can with uh, four and a half cups of sugar two teaspoons of salt three tablespoons of lemon juice and a tablespoon of cinnamon so the directions say to get this to stir it together and then I'm gonna put it in a pot with ten and a half cups of water and then let it come to a boil and we'll proceed and I'll tell you as I go along what I'm doing. I'm going to mix my sugar, my clear gel, cinnamon, and salt together and then I'll add them to the water. I just like, I think you're supposed to mix the clear gel with like the sugar to get it dispersed better to start with. So I'm just going to get this whisked until the cinnamon will tell me when it's pretty well mixed. And then I've got my ten and a half cups of water in my big pot on the stove. And I will add this to it and when it just comes to a boil, let me juice and add my apples. Okay, I'm going to, I've got my ten and a half cups of water in here. And I'm going to whisk in my um, dry ingredients. You can have things look kind of cloudy when you're uh, using cornstarch until it clears up. There's what it looks like in there. I want y'all to see, it says to boil it till it just starts to thicken and you, it's just starting to thicken. It's not watery. So now I've got to add the apples. I had these in water, so I'm trying to not add any more water to my filling here. We just want to cook this. Forgot to add my lemon juice. Pooey. You want to cook this until the apples are cooked through. Just to... When I'm getting ready to can, I always have me a towel down. And then because this is the butcher block, and if you put a hot pot on it, it pulls the oil up out of it. I, um, I've got my straw mats. That's where my filling will be. This is the, for my lids. That's in a pot getting warm. I have my vinegar water here to rock, wipe the rims with and then I have my plate to lay stuff on to keep from making a mess. That's my debubbler. That's my, my good ladle and my funnel and the magnet to get the lids out with. So I've got all my little business set up here just ready to go if it'll all get ready. I wanted to show y'all I've got my Norpro spoon rest and they're not expensive but they're sure handy. And there's what it looks like inside. They're starting to simmer a little bit. Won't be long. We'll be jarring it up. Okay, y'all. It's time to start jarring it up. 
the apples are tender. I just I kept checking an apple, and when they got tender, then I thought that was good enough. And I'm doing quarts because we have found that a quart will make a nice fat pie. I'm going to leave some half inch of head space. Okay. And I want to be sure that all of them get juice and apples. I'm just going to finish filling all the jars and get them in the water bath and I'll bring Okay, I'm going to wipe my rims with my vinegar water, and then I'll get my lids on. Sure don't want any of this sticky sugar apple filling up on your rim. You want to make sure you clean them good. I think this little darling can come over here to live. It can be adopted by this jar. Okay, get the lids and rings on this floor, and then I'll do some more. Okay, let me finish doing, and I'll be back and show y'all what's going on. Okay, I'm starting to put them into the water bath canner. One of them don't look like it has quite as many apples in it as I would like, but I am not pouring it out and redoing it. Okay, let me get some more jars out of the oven. I, I've got seven quarts in the uh, Fresh Tech canner, and it's got to come back up to a boil, and then I'll water bath them for 20 minutes. If you've got a big pot that you can water bath can in, and you don't have a rack for the bottom, you can put jar rings in there and stain your jars on them. I had two more quarts of, of apple pie filling, so I'm just keeping it warm until I can put it in the water bath canner. But I just put me four of those rings and set that on it. So that's just an idea. If you can't find your rack or, you know, don't panic. Just get you some jar rings and use them. My timer went off, and so it's time to get these pretty things in the over here to cool. See how pretty? finished getting these out and I have two more to put in. Okay, I got nine quarts of filling and then I have enough left, probably a cup and a half, and I'm going to make some uh, pan pies and I will let y'all watch me do that on the next video or a video in the future. Uh, hope y'all have learned something. It's easy to make pie filling. I'll be making some blueberries shortly and y'all already seen the peach pie filling. It's just good to have it on the shelf. You never know what's going to happen. Something else I wanted to talk to you about is we're into September now and the holidays are fast approaching. And I was at the store yesterday. I couldn't believe. I couldn't get spam. I couldn't get canned tamales. I needed some stuff for recipes. Couldn't find any of them. The shelves are bare. So y'all need to kind of plan ahead and think, okay, Thanksgiving's coming. And just in case I can't get what I need, Make a list and be getting your supplies for your Thanksgiving and Christmas meal and even New Year's if you're going to make finger foods. Make sure that the expiration date on it will hold out, but plan what you're going to get and go ahead and be picking up your stuff for your holidays and like for your candies. If it takes a particular cereal or some pecans or some Cairo syrup, you better be getting it when you can because it might not be there closer to time. 
And if you can just have a big old meal at home and the family gather, that'll make it wonderful. So just, you know, put your thinking cap on, get your recipe book out and decide what you think you might need. Or like me, I have my bars full of goodies every Christmas, so I know what I need for each one, and I've got it. If it gets to where I can't get out and go to the store or the stores are empty, I can still cook some good stuff. Y'all need to do that. Now, the good Lord bless you. Thank every one of you for watching. I uh, hope that you hit that little bell so you'll know when I put up another video. And hit that little like thing down there so I know you liked it. Comment if you will. I love to read your comments. Some of y'all are my, my regular friends that I talk to every couple of days. And I just love it. I will be back in a day or two, maybe tomorrow, with another video. Stay tuned. Okay, y'all. I got 10 quarts. And I just wanted you to look at them. I see some of them. I've got more syrup down here, but when I stir it all up, it'll make a delicious pie. So, I have enough left over. I'm going to make a couple of little hand pies, and I'm going to video that, and y'all will see it in a day or two.